This Boeing 757 is a sleek, narrow-bodied, long-legged beauty. And she's treated like the celebrity who owns her. Visitors at this private airfield can't resist gawking and taking photos. They must keep their distance, because like the billionaire tycoon who bought her, she commands respect. This is Donald Trump's private jet, a Boeing 757 that's a giant in its class. Everything that they did on it is very, very uh, spectacular. They've got large, high thrust Rolls Royce engines on it. Uh, it's got a, uh, it's got a very nice look to it. Uh, it's extremely fast for an airliner. It's a very, very fast airplane for a large airplane. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. It takes turbulence very, very well. It's kind of like the Ferrari in the airline category airplane. Built to hold 228 passengers, this 757 is three times the size of the average private jet. 47 meters long, with a wingspan of 39 meters. The tail stands 14 meters high. She's one of the biggest privately owned corporate jets flying. Inside, the $100 million plane has enough gold that if melted down, could gold plate the outside of a Greyhound bus. Seat belts, light sockets, decorative trim. The ceiling panels are ultra suede. The seats are high-grade leather. The cabinets are rare mahogany. The plane has a screening room that's the same size as a large home theater and equipped with a 57-inch TV. This 757 even has two bedrooms and a shower. In three weeks, Trump needs to go to London to make a keynote address, and he wants a 757 to take him there. That's enough time for the safety check, but really tight for a series of cosmetic changes and upgrades that Trump wants done while the plane is in the shop. But John has no choice but to say yes. After clearing security, the billionaire tycoon boards the plane. First thing I do when I get on this aircraft is look around for details. I always study the details. Cleanliness, I go up to the pilot, see how everything's going. I like to look at the cockpit. I want everything to be absolutely perfect. So, John, everything's good? Everything's perfect, Mr. Trump. All right, good, good. Let's, Let's have a go. good flight. All righty. Thank you. Mr. Trump is watching the presidential debate at the office on TV and refuses to budge until it's over jeopardizing the takeoff before midnight. Well, it's it's kind of up to them. I mean, it's um, uh, it's just totally up to the Port Authority. Unfortunately, I don't control it. And he doesn't control the weather either. Gentlemen, please. Gentlemen. Robert McAdams is the general manager of Shelter, the private Gentlemen, terminal where Trump's 757 parks when at LaGuardia. The weather today has not been conducive for air travel. You had fog, you had shifting winds, the airport changed runway configurations a few times, so all this adds to delayed flights. In two hours, they reach New York. Perhaps, perhaps I see 30 degrees. 30 degrees. I need checklist complete. Clear to land. Executive chef Chris Devine sets a high standard for airline food. Sugar snap peas. Chef is cooking for just four passengers tonight. But even for this late night snack, he goes all out. A lobster salad, a Gulf shrimp cocktail, a roast turkey breast, roast sirloin of beef, and our house made corned beef. Delicious. Uh, we also have homemade cookies and some mixed green salad. I guess you should have the salad before the cookies. Gia Parolo is Donald Trump's personal flight attendant. She's been working for Mr. Trump since 2005. This is a very short flight, so I'm just preparing some refreshments. We should be landing anytime soon. In a plane that once held 228 passengers, there's lots of room for just one. With the 18 executive class seats, the two bedrooms, the media room, and a gourmet kitchen, Donald Trump is on top of the world. With 40,000 pounds of thrust on each engine, the Rolls Royces can propel this jet to 41,000 feet in just 20 minutes. Is that cool? One to go. Yes, sir, indeed. 
John takes the 757 northward from Palm Beach to New York. The plane not only feels like a Rolls-Royce on the inside, it's got two Rolls-Royce engines powering it, which was something Trump desperately wanted. The engines are the safest in the industry and the quietest in their class, meaning Trump can land the airplane even in noise-restricted airports. One of the things very important to me on the Boeing 757 was the Rolls-Royce engines. They're special, they're really popular, the most popular, and frankly, I was happy to be able to get the one with the Rolls-Royce engines. We really wanted that. 